Netflix continuing to push the transgender LGBT agenda. They love this guy. And remember, they said, you know, we're here, we're queer, we're telling you to stand clear, okay? Remember, they took aim at a group of organizers who were trying to put on a straight pride rally. Yeah, that's Netflix for you. They admit, they know who they are. At least they admit that. I'll give them that much credit. They tell you exactly who they are and who they represent. They don't try to lie about it. Doesn't mean I like it, but here we go again with their agenda being pushed. They are relaunching, well, they did a special on the old Nickelodeon cartoon series called Rocco's Modern Life. Some of you might remember that show. I sure do. I was, you know, in my early teens when that show originally came out. It aired for four seasons before finally coming to an end in 1996. But Netflix decided they would do a 45-minute special. It aired this past Friday, and they introduced a transgender storyline. That's right. They put a trans. They ha they have to do this, guys. You know, you just understand they have to do this. Now, the show starts off with Rocco and his friends. They've been lost in space for the past 20 years, pretty much since the show has been off the air. They finally find their way back home to Earth where they want to just get involved with everything. They want to see what the future is all about. They want to try going to food trucks. They want to get the latest cell phones, everything like that. Well, they go on the search for their friend Ralph because the parents haven't seen Ralph in quite some time. They're trying to get the old band back together again. And well, when they finally do come across Ralph, Ralph says that I'm not Ralph anymore. I'm Rachel, because you see, Ralph has now transitioned to a woman. And of course, Rocco and his friends immediately embraced this, said that's absolutely wonderful. They're so happy. Everything is all love and great. Except then when Rachel goes home to tell her father he is not happy about this, he says, no, I don't have a daughter. I have a son, which he's, he would be right. He would be exactly right about that. Of course, story continues to play out by the end of this special episode. Father ends up embracing Rachel. Everybody holds hands, sings kumbaya, and all under the rainbow flag of the LGBT community. I mean, again, this is what they are pushing, guys. I mean, even the director, even some of the show's producers said that, look, this is all about inclusion. It's about acceptance. It's exactly what we need in this culture today. And no, it's not what we need in this culture today. We don't need to be pushing the LGBT agenda on kids, but that's what Netflix and others are continually doing, especially them. And Disney, they're another big one, who does the same exact thing. And if you guys want to read a full synopsis of the show, I'll put a link below in the description. You can check it out there. Bring this to your attention as our society continues to push God further and further out of the picture and embrace sin. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also, subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.